Yeah, yeah. What's up, motherfuckers? Let's roll the old intro. As you can see, I'm on a slightly different route. I have changed my residence, my place of living, and my place of business. <laughs> so I actually made a video prior to all the moves, right? Um, we, we got moved into the shop, which I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, we moved. We upgraded, we got a bigger place, so on and so forth. I made a video prior to all this happening. And honestly, that was a few weeks ago. And I just been really, really, really busy. So this morning I was like, you know what? I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna edit together that video and throw it up to get everyone caught up to speed to prepare you for this video. The problem with that is I, I, I apparently only recorded half of it. <laughs> like there's no outro or explanation or anything of that nature. So it's kind of funny. But yeah, I got a few things to run before I head to the shop. And I'll explain that to you guys when uh, we get there. So give me a second. Let me get to Home Depot. I'm missing some parts. Now there's always someone here parked. I'm guessing they work here. Who knows? All I know is I'm fucking gonna do it once this lady gets the fuck out of my way. So I gotta run in and get some shit that I fucked up on. I won't bore you guys with the glory details. So you know what? Let's make this quick for you and get you to the shop. So here we are. Got my Home Depot out of the way. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the new uh, headquarters for Mean Calves. So naturally, let me better explain the why behind the what or the reason behind the what or however you want to put it. Um, mean Calves as a hobby, we go to the auctions, we flip cars, and we make some money off of it. We use that extra money on top of our day job to um, do all the fun shit we like to do. So what this is going to give us currently what we do is we buy cars we either fix them in my little garage or work on them in my little garage or work out in the heat or have enough tools to get by and one car project lasts a few days so the big projects that would take something like a car lift or something I always reached out to my mechanic and so what we decided to do is cut out the middleman open up our own shop uh, mainly for our own personal use um, I mean if people need stuff done and people need stuff done since we're not certified we can't really charge that much because it just it's classified as a hobby right so we've been setting this up for the last few weeks we're getting closer and closer we're not entirely ready to have a uh, fully going at it yet that's why there's no cars in here right now uh, but yeah, just little things, you know, like we got, <laughs> this is the work on the bikes. Um, we got the wheel chocks, put the front wheel in there, bring up the back. We maintain the chains, so on and so forth. Car lift. Right now the project I'm working on is getting the air compressor fully hooked up. I got new piping for the filters, cup lanes, so on and so forth. We went and bought every tool imaginable that we could think of. We got a list going. And hopefully, uh... He gets there. And then uh, this was the office, which we are switching into a waiting room. And it's a work in progress. But right now, I've been working on this fucking air compressor. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, cool little setup. And we're going to start uh, bringing you guys along to our auctions um, and our process and how we do this, start daily vlogging, so on and so forth. I still gotta bring over the shop cars. Um, the other bike, I'm gonna store one here, one at home. But yeah, just wanna give a little insight where we at. So, like, comment if you're new here, subscribe. I don't like to take this opportunity to thank you for watching. Have a good day, everybody.